Hello. I did. I did the. I. Um. Last. Last. Last night I made a video. Of Monster Hunter World, Monster Hunter creatures in Monster Hunter that weren't that were just really not were weren't put, that weren't put in the games. And also, if you want to, if you don't want to know what the rules are, you better watch the original video. Watch it while you still can. Actually, it'll be free to watch. I won't take it down, so yeah, you're good. But anyways, let's get right into this video. Let's start it off with... What the heck? Okay, I am really, really confused on what on what I'm ser seeing right here, because look at this, look at this thing. Look at this thing. My best guess is that it would this thing would be like a gravios thingy. But what the heck? But the, it only the only resemblance are these little are these armor spikes thingies and the posture. But the rest looks like what would happen if Nergigante was was designed in gen in Moss in the original in the PS in the PS2 Monster Hunter. Here is a monster that I'm that I'm actually pretty interested in, and I would really I'm kind of sad that this thing hasn't been hasn't been used yet. Boom! I don't know what the heck these things are, but they look interesting. Here's some concept. Here's some concept art of Shakalakas, and I think we found. I think we found what what Shakalakas inner what Shakalakas looks looked like when unmasked. But yeah, that's probably scraps. Then we have these these ugly things, and then what the heck is this? <laughs> Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It has poison sacks. What the heck? Okay, let's take another break to to look at this really early concept of of Nargakuga. This is a very slick feel and I kind of like it. What I do eventually put I'm I'm making Monster Hunter comics. I make I make Monster Hunter comics comics not uh, not that often, but sometimes I do. And and when I when I do when I do put when I do put Nargakuga in there, I'm gonna use that the concept art I just showed you. I just sh showed you as a reference. Got that? Also, let's take another break to look at the fact that this un that this unused this uh, this unused Gamera creature looked looks a lot like like Gobel. Pause pause the video and look at pause the video and look at it. You'll see. Oh, and also at, about the creature that I ended ended the ended the original part one on this I this this um earth dragon and by the way um earth dragon is actually the name of the next one so um. There are actually, there are actually, there's actually, there's actually a, mo uh, there's actually two creatures, two creatures that you would normally think are, 
are are extinct species, but they're not confirmed to be extinct. Well, at least I don't think. Introducing eh. the the Gaia dragon. I don't know what the heck this thing is, but it looks cool. Also, what the heck? What you're about to see is not is not confirmed to be extinct. And, but what but it is so dangerous that that the hunt that that whenever whenever that the hunter the hunter the hunter the hunters guild actually actually requests to 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 slay it on sight introducing the ancient serpent this is pretty much like one of those cryptids that are basically dinosaurs, living dinosaurs. Also, since both of them are fish, they're, it's also pretty much the coelacanth of, coelacanth of the Monster Hunter universe. Okay, I was seriously going to include this thing until I noticed that, yeah, this is... Lao Shan Lung con concept art. This looks like some kind of Renopolis style creature. Speaking of Renopolis, this looks like a very strange creature. I think it would be some kind of elder dragon. Because look at the posture. Maybe a Carapacian. Also, if you want to see concept art of Camellios and, and, and Tiastra, here you go. Look at it. Pause it and look. We have a fang wyvern on our hand. Drop the plane. Woo! Ah! Oh! Heck is wrong wrong with wrong with dungeons and dragons. Boy, boy, I think you need to to um. How does this dude grow such long arms? Pause. Pause, I dare you. Pause, I dare you. Oh, and before I get back to Monster Hunter, I just want to say... What the heck is wrong with people's minds? Are we even going to get back to Monster Hunter? Back. Run, Pookie, run! Okay, finally, we're back to concept art. So, one... Oh, okay, this could be an up. I don't know what this is. That's that be off. What the heck? I need to I need to talk about pe these people's sanity. Okay, this is Canopus, and Canopus is extinct. But I'm curious to see what the heck this is. Okay, actually looking at probably Fatalis. Rock Hulk. Okay, more weird goblin things. Wow, these people, this person, this person really hates Yan Cuckoos. And from then, Soul couldn't find any more, any more concept art, concept art to go off of and make a video on. But he looked hard and hard and hard and hard but the only thing the only monsters you can find hop but the only the only monsters he could find were were either concept art of existing monsters 
or monsters he had already covered. But he kept, but he kept looking. Until he found the two creatures, the two monsters that he really hoped that ho that he hoped to put to put into the game. The, the, he hoped would be put in the game. And let's start with the with the strangest one of the two. Introducing the Crypt Hydra. Like most, like most of the creatures on my, like most of the creatures, creatures on here, he he could cover it on this on both of these videos. He could only there was only one there was only one piece of concept art for the for the Crypt Hydra, but what was there was plenty. We can't, we can't really get th get that much information. I can't really get that much. Normally, you can't really get that much information from 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 one single piece of concept art. But here, as I said, what what's what Soul had from that concept from this one piece of concept art was plenty. Isn't this sound relaxing? But what is uncertain is that what I have is plenty. It's a commercial break. <laughs> this one's actually a little bit of a little bit Don't don't ask why it smells so good. Oh my god. Run. No. I can't. I will not. I will not let this eye burn. <laughs> okay, now the eye. <sighs> Do I really have to make the eye bed wet? <sighs> well, this needs to be done. Okay. <laughs> oh no. This is nightmare fuel. The crypt hydra is most likely a sort of mummy bait um, is probably an 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 Egyptian based monster, and it's definitely a mummy, as you can see from that third head to to second head, the head on the, on the right. But yeah, mm, I think it would be an elder dragon, and also its thingies, its 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 armor. And weapons would take a form that resembles Egyptian statues and, and artifacts and stuff. And the most interesting out of game monster is this is also the most the most this is also the creature that has the most the most information on it. And this is one of those creatures that were that were just made for world building. So yeah. Here is the equal dragon weapon. Oh, and also, I will not. I'm not going to. I I I I don't think I can cover all that information in one video. So I'm probably going to make going to make another video on the equal dragon weapon. Later on, later on, later on, probably around the release date of of Monster Hunter World. So, 